Hey, good morning, folks. What's up? Just going, doing a little flying. I think we got a big old lake day on the boat. You ever just go to the airport with no real agenda? I have no agenda. I'm just going flying. See what we get this morning. I got about an hour or so. Going to Hawaii on Thursday for two and a half weeks. Come home for 24 hours and leave for Oshkosh. Busy time. So I got to get a little flying in, a little practice. All that stuff. Anyway, Joy, we'll see where we go, see where we end up. Hope you like this. Cheers. Here's a beautiful spot. Just kind of a little feels like a little breeze up here. Slight breeze. Feels pretty good, honestly. Bring in my next natural flaps. Damn near 9,000 feet up here, gang. Nice and smooth so far. That feels pretty good. I don't know what it is about landing in these silly places up here that we like so much. For that snow right there. Little pull of flaps. Strike tower, twin dive and six week off the cell, nine miles to the southwest of the one minute weather. Kind of a neat little spot. It doesn't look that high, gang, but we're up here at 10,000 feet. We've got the entire Carson Valley down below, Minden, looking east into the desert. We're just going to do a little fly around up here around Friel. Not a whole lot of places to land up here, but it's pretty gorgeous. That's for sure. I always like going over here and at least looking.
it about these high spots that are so intriguing? I'm not gonna land, because I've never seen this spot. I've just now looked at it. But look at that spot right here on this ridge line, running up along the snow right there. Right there, right along the snow. Holy cow, that looks gorgeous. get up here and just start freaking out. Unbelievable. I think like why do I need to go land there today? But holy cow is that gorgeous. I guarantee no one's ever landed there before. Why the hell do I have to be the first one? This stuff that goes through my brain. Man, oh man, look at this stuff. It's so beautiful up here. Nothing like the Sierras, man. Man, oh man, look at this spot. Are you kidding me? I just feel it out here. We're high. 10,400 right here. Yeah, it's going to be steep. <laughs> it's money. I'm not gonna land. I'm gonna save it for another day. adrenaline junkie maybe you're not that doesn't really matter you got to be smart every day is a different day yesterday was a beautiful day no wind probably should have landed up there but the reality was is that you know it was the first time i'd ever even seen that spot i did a bunch of flybys wind was absolutely perfect yesterday thought about it all night long Woke up in the middle of the night dreaming about that stupid landing. Up there around 11,000 feet. There's something about mountain flying, there's just nothing like it. It makes your blood flow. Sometimes it gives me sweaty palms, but that's a good thing. You gotta channel that energy, turn it into a positive, and you live on your sixth sense, you know? Your little voice in your head's telling you it ain't right, it ain't right, don't do it. I live on that. With my real world business, heli ski guiding, flying, you name it. Whatever it is, 
that uh, just doesn't feel right, you gotta walk away, you gotta know that, you gotta be in tune to that. And I don't mean to go on a tangent about that kind of stuff, but that's very, very real. And I encourage you viewers at home to listen to your inner voice. You might have the best training in the world. I feel like I'm a pretty decent back and true pilot. But the reality is, is that I'm only human. And if it doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel right. We went over there today. And God, it was gorgeous going there, but we got winds forecasted to pick up. It was already blowing. You could see the airplane waffling around, felt mushy, got a big rotor over the peak. Just didn't feel good. So that's flying. Live another day. Come back another day. That mountain ain't going anywhere. It will always be there. What's the rush, right? Well, anyway, hope you enjoy uh, this video. It's a little different. Maybe uh, it's more of a educational vlog. Is that what I'm doing? Is this considered vlogging? Uh, I'm a vlogger. Well, I hope you like it. Please subscribe. Hit that little ding-a-lingy. And uh, wait for the rooster. Cheers.